Sopwith Camel. The British Sopwith Camel was developed by the Sopwith Aviation Company as a successor to the Sopwith Pup, which had become outpaced by the new German fighters that emerged in the skies. The first flight of the Camel prototype was on the 22nd of December 1916, flown by Harry Hawker at Brooklyn's Weybridge, Surrey. The aircraft was powered by a 110 horsepower Clerget 97 engine and was armed with 2.303 Vickers type machine guns in front of the cockpit. Synchronized to fire forwards through the propeller via an interrupter gear, a hump protective covering over the guns gave the biplane its distinctive camel name. The fighter had two main wings stacked one above the other, with the fuselage construction mainly consisting of a wooden frame covered in fabric and aluminium panels around the engine. The Royal Naval Air Service put the Sopwith Camel into combat service first in June 1917, and the Royal Flying Corps put the biplane into combat the month after. Many novices were killed while training to pilot the vehicle. In the hands of a skilled pilot, however, it could be an effective machine, able to outmaneuver other enemy airplanes except for the Fokker DR-1 triplane. From mid-1918, during the German Spring Offensive, the Sopwith Camel was used as a ground attack aircraft. Along with other Allied aircraft, it would support the infantry's advance towards the German border, sometimes fitted out to carry 25-pound bombs to attack German strongholds. Some variants include the Comet...